What's up, Muscular Development? This is Steve Kukolo with Dan Newmeyer and Big Lou Morera. We're at uh, Destination here in Plano. And John Izzy, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we had a, uh, had a little group workout with the uh, with some legs. It was a good off-season uh, lift. That we're kind of transitioning uh, my training from off-season into uh, pre-contest for the Arnold Brazil. It's about 12 weeks out. Uh, feeling really good, really healthy, and feeling I was able to bring my weight up and uh, to about 300 pounds, which is the biggest I've been in my off season. It had a, it was a pretty decent weight. I held it pretty good. And, um, you know, it, it has its, its pros and cons. Pros, I'm at my biggest. I put on some good size. Cons is my lower back when you know doing legs gets <laughs> locked up uh, pretty bad. So it's you know you feel it after squats and certain movements. So I'm sure. You know, if, if you've ever competed and you know, have gotten big in the off season or, or post contest, you know, you're, you're you got that extra water weight. You know how it feels when uh, you get that lower back tightness. So we're finding the groove. For me, it took a few sets of warming up. I'm kind of finding my groove. The knees feel good. Now we'll start putting on a little more weight and having some fun with it. Let's do it. Pretty good, um, you know. I, I feel pretty flexible still, um, so I'm able to get pretty deep on my squats. You know, I, I feel like if you, some guys like Dan, Dan has big legs just walking around. So for me, you know, I like getting full range of motion on, on a lot of my movements and like squats, and I feel a good stretch, and I feel like that's always developed my legs the most. Um, kind of it brings that complete, you know, sweep in the outer quad, the glutes, just everything. <laughs> Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Right here. Shit ain't easy, you know? Yeah, bro. Dude, no. Yeah, bro. Dude, no. Put your feet up. Ah! Ah! From squats, we went to band resisted leg press. Again, a little different than traditional leg press, but uh, you know, not throwing on 20 plates, but you know, five, six, seven, eight plates feels like it's like 20 plates. So it's just something, um, the tension's different. It, it gets harder as you push up. And with that, we went started at a higher rep and then lowered it down to a drop set. So we went 15, 12, 10, and then a triple drop. We actually did a, a four drop sets of eight, 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 eight. Louis, get some, get it's some five plates. Feel like it's 15 plates with these bands. 
No joke. What are you saying? And for leg press, one of the things I like doing, and some other guy, you know, I picked it up kind of from Dan, is not going a full extension on the leg press, kind of keeping tension on the quad, not going like a full lockout. You know, you're able to do that, you keep more tension on the quad, the whole movement, and uh, I feel that it just helps keep that, you know, time under tension with the, the muscle, hopefully to increase the amount of uh, the gains you're able to get. Several ways you can do that with dumbbells with a barbell on your back. Uh, our, at that point, our backs were pretty fried, so the Smith machine was a little bit safer option for us. You know, not crazy heavy, just kind of getting the movement down. You know, you're working on your balance a bit. It's, it's targeting targeting the lower part of your quad and some glutes. So, you know, we like kind of throwing that in there as as, as some unilateral stuff, getting away from like a, the press of both legs. If one you have a more dominant leg, it helps develop the weaker leg. Bro, Daisy if you appreciate basketball, Daisy the lose. Daisy lose. Bring back, Daisy lose. The Isaiah Carter and Larry Bird days. So that's your go, Daisy. Whatever you want to call. <laughs> From there, we went. Uh, what do we do after that? We did. Uh, we jumped into the vertical leg press and uh, 21. So we just picked different range of motions with that top end, low end and uh, full range of motion, just basically at that point, it's, uh, it's not really a strength issue, it becomes more of just a volume and uh, um, kind of what you kind of got left kind of issue. So uh, it, was a, it was a good range of motion. Again, as you, these gentlemen down here are squatting five plates like it's nothing, and um, my strength is not great in squats, but they, uh, they uh, see how it kind of progressed from a heavier, lower rep range into a higher rep range, lower weight. Again, the, the focus, as Steve said, was constant tension on the muscle group um, throughout the whole range of motion without distributing the tension actually into either bone or giving the muscle an actual resting time period. So that was the goal. Sometimes you saw a fast uh, pace, sometimes you saw a slower pace. We kind of, again, we're, we're playing with different things, just kind of seeing how things feel. The goal, the end goal here is volume and damage. So usually when we walk out of leg training, at least for me in the last couple of times I've been training with Steve and Alice, it's been uh, debilitating. I, I'm pretty much handicapped every one of these days. And, um, there's a lot of volume here, and I, I don't think people see that sometimes. You can see the five plate squats, which is pretty amazing in itself, and you know, Steve's not even trying. So and for anyone that's out there, you know, the five plate, even for Lou, they're, they're not, they're being, they're putting the brakes on right now. And Jonathan just threw it up five plates also. Again, it's amazing, but once you start adding volume to that, that's what becomes more impressive, the fatigue factor with that. So um, Steve has some of the best legs in the business right now, and they're only getting better and better and better. And it's gonna be pretty amazing to see his process. He starts trying to um, trimming down, start looking, getting that tighter and grainier look. He's already grainy in places right now. It'll be exciting to see what uh, his final package is gonna be because uh, let's just be honest folks, this, this kid's a freak. He's, um, he's getting him, you know, he's he's not even hitting life right now and he's you know he's about 295 pounds and just uh, walking around and very, very lean. So this this end pro progress or process for him is gonna be uh, uh, it's just gonna be kind of a reality for a lot of us around him where who's a real bodybuilder and who's the wannabe. So <laughs> training with these guys is is it's a great experience. I know, you know, if you guys got you know, motivative uh, training partners and, and guys that push you. That's what it's all about. You know, you got to have fun with this. You know, it, it's a job, you know, especially it's a job and a, uh, you know, a lot of it's a hobby or a passion for us. But, 
um, you gotta have fun with it. You know, everything you do in life, do it, enjoy it, and you know, you, you will be successful and, and just, you know, never give up. Just continue to push yourself, be dedicated, and you know, things will uh, things will work out how you want them. You know, so that's that's kind of the beauty with our sport. It's all on you. But if you got a good support team behind you and guys and girls that you know is, is your core and your backbone, then the sky's the limit. So we're excited to start transitioning in the pre-contest with being 12 weeks out of the Honor Brazil. You know, we're going to get some good footage here as we start to, like Dan said, kind of trim down, get tighter, and. Um, you know, Hani and I spent some good, we were out to LA Fit Expo last weekend, kind of game plan the next month, month and a half of what I need to do, you know, and uh, we got some pretty good footage yesterday at the fire station, so coming off 24 hours, I was a little bit dragging today because we were, I, you know, I only got about three or four hours sleep last night and I was up about from 3 a.m. on and, um, you know, thank God for the EVP Plus that we got because it's got the little bit of energy side to it, a little caffeine and, so I don't always use stims when I you know, train, but days like this, coming off a 24-hour shift, is definitely nice to have a little boost. So I feel good and excited with the next 12 weeks hold, getting on the stage again, you know, bringing a new package. And you know, this year is going to be a, uh, a more approved, complete package. Hopefully, uh, start you know, cracking that top 10 at Olympia is what our goal is, and you know, I know I can do it. And I'm just going to keep working for it. So I thank you guys for coming out. This is Steve Kuklo, Big Dan, Big Lou here at Destination in Plano, Texas. Good seeing you guys. We'll see you guys soon.